welcome back to the channel my name is Sherelle and in this video we will be exploring the Cosmopolitan's Wicked Spoon Buffet which is one of my favorite buffets here in Las Vegas. We are going to head up to the second floor where the Wicked Spoon Buffet is located. You will need to take the escalator or elevator up to the second level. The Wicked Spoon weekday hours are slightly different than the weekend. We want on a Monday, which is a weekday. It was 8 to 3, which was a great time. I just do still recommend going early during the week as it can be crowded. I will have the total price for two listed in the description box below. The Wicked Spoon offers a 90 minute sitting period for when you're at the buffet. Don't make the mistake like I did where I sat down first and waited for my drink. Just go ahead and start eating. Um, they are a plethora of food options, so I always walk around the buffet first to see any of the new options, but I highly recommend start eating because 90 minutes does fly by really fast. There are some sub sections you will have to skip, like I skipped the sushi section because I wanted to try some new food options. Be mindful of what time you get there. If you time it just correctly like I did, you'll be there when the crab legs pop out. And there also will still be breakfast options available. Now we entered the buffet around 10.45, 10.50, which made our departure time around 12, 15, 12, 20. I say this is the perfect time to get to the buffet because you'll have your breakfast options as well as your lunch options. It was not as crowded. There was a line getting in, but the line actually moved really fast. And I think this was because it is a Monday, but the Wicked Spoon has never not been crowded when I've been here. The first plate me and my sister did decide to have was a salad plate. We love their Caesar salad and their kale salad that they offer at the buffet. I do recommend that if you would like to try it. It's not a necessary, but it is really good. Next plates are me and my sister's breakfast plates. We had bacon, the shrimp and grits, top tier, pancakes, eggs. We do get items that we can share so that way each of us can try a little bit. This is my plate. I got the ham with French toast, again with the shrimp and grits. 10 out of 10. The Wicked Spoon Buffet is one of my favorite buffets here in Las Vegas, as I do find it to be one of the more affordable options. Buffet-wise here in Las Vegas, there are uh, cheaper options, which I hope to experience, but I, this is a great medium for those first time comers to Las Vegas. Thank you. 
This was my first time trying the built to order ramen section as I was not able to try it the previous times I've been here. And I will say it's okay. I do wish they had a little bit of more um, options for the ramen and I had to get the crab legs. If you want to get your money's worth at these buffets, get the crab legs. I had two plates of the crab legs this time. I will say if you want to get your money's worth, you want to hit the crab legs, you want to hit the meat section because that's where the bulk of your, your money is going to come from. So comment below if you, if you try this strategy the next time you go to a buffet. Midway through our time, I had to take a little bit of a break to let my stomach settle because I still wanted to eat more food, which is fine. Just be mindful of your time because I like, like I said, you only get 90 minutes. Another favorite section at the Wicked Spoon for me is the dessert section. They actually had a little bit more dessert options. They had some new options that I wanted to try. So I do recommend getting yourself a big plate and just loading up with desserts so that you and whoever you go with can share. I will say the Wicked Spoon does portion control very well. As you can see, none of the portions are overwhelming and you can get a lot, lot of food options to try because the portions aren't so big. And now we're at my personal favorite, which are, is the dessert section. I had to start off with a new food option, which is this rum raisin rice pudding. Absolutely delicious and I do recommend trying. I do be hope that it becomes a staple of the buffet. Had to get some strawberry gelato because that's my favorite, as well as the molten melting chocolate cake. Delicious. And it is my personal favorite. Around this time I did realize I had about 15 minutes left in our sitting uh, section so I did want to push through and get another desserts um, options. I will say that I do love this chocolate cake. It's one of my favorites. They have a plethora of new options that I wanted to get through but I didn't get to all of them so I will have to go back. Comment below if you would love to see another review of new options at the Wicked Spoon. Couldn't leave the buffet without trying the tiramisu, which is my sister's favorite, as well as some cheesecake to share. Now I can say that I do love sharing our food options. That is one way to get through the buffets is sharing food options because they do have a lot and sometimes it can be overwhelming.
The Wicked Spoon Buffet located in the Cosmopolitan is a great location for this buffet as it is very central and it's on the affordable side so that you can get your money's worth and be in a great location and walk off those pounds after you leave this buffet. I hope you enjoyed this review of the Wicked Spoon Buffet located in the Cosmopolitan here in Las Vegas. Do me a favor, if you really like our content, please consider subscribing to our channel as we are a growing channel and it helps push our videos here on YouTube. We look forward to seeing you in the next one as we have more travel content coming your way.